morning folks we ran out of seed last night and it's not raining yet so we're gonna try to get an early start on it today dad's already in his planter so i'm heading to mine gotta move that auger to that bin i have one load of beans in there like one fill up so gotta get those out of there Stay there, little dude. You wanna go on there? Yeah, he's happy. Dax is gonna be mad he's driving his tractor though. Get this thing unfolded while we're waiting on the tender to fill up. Looks like I might need some government juice and fuel too. Luckily the thunder wagon's here. Yeah, I need a box of graphite talc. Boom! Some of that. Some of that. I think the gauges on my Thunder Wagon are broke. Might be a little inaccurate. I see the kids on their razor. I see Big Mama going for an exercise. Me? I'm gonna stop at the office and get a Twinkie. I ain't had breakfast. Nothing to see there. Nothing to see. I guess I should really start checking that lock to make sure it actually locks when it says it locked. Well, we only had three passes left in this field, so we will be done here very soon. All right, we're moving. This time we checked the locking mechanism though. Uh, you can see there's nothing here, and you can see green over there. This was the first bean field we planted with the fent. Uh, it also had some slug damage. Uh, the damage isn't too bad right here. It's really just in the middle. Uh, at first we thought something happened with the planter, but I don't believe that's the case. I can see beans out there. It's just really thinned out. So, all right, we're, we've ended up, we're gonna end up replanting 20 acres of this 70 acre field. Slug damage is the worst I've seen in this one. This field was vertical till in the spring too. I know a lot of people think that no till is where you get slug damage. Uh, I mean, this one was vertical till, fairly deep, at a pretty aggressive angle, and uh, it's, this is the most slug damage I've ever had in one field. So, uh, at least we were able to come in and put some seed back in. We should be pretty much out of slug damage as hot as it's been. Slugs don't like heat, so uh, these beans that we're replanting should be fine. Grow, grow. The rest of the field looks pretty good. Over here on that hillside, it's uh, looking a little thin, but I think that's just the roll of the ground. Dad said when he was in the sprayer around this wheat, he couldn't see any other places from up there. Probably will fly the drone though, just to double check, but it's definitely thin over there. I mean, you can see, even on this camera, the difference. Man, someone really needs to mow this grass. Now, our bush hogging is definitely behind, but in our defense, our bush hog tractor has got uh, leaking remotes. BJ I th thinks he might have got them fixed, but I think we might need some more O-rings. And we just haven't had time yet, but as soon as planning's done, we will catch up on the bush hogging. Kind of missed that baby challenger now. If you're new to the channel, we did have a smaller challenger, a 120 horse challenger that we ran a 13 inch auger with. But once we got the leg, we didn't need the tractor anymore, so we don't have it but it's what we bush hog with, and I do kind of miss it. But we do have something else coming that's gonna be running the bush hog pretty soon, and it's green. Any speculation? All right, we are heading down into the bottoms. Some of this ground has been underwater, but the field that we are going to is up against the river. It did not have water on it, so uh, we'll have to go buy some flooded out cornfields, so. I got a feeling lunch wagon ain't gonna get across this. This field right here, this is probably the only corner of it that's going to survive. Most of the rest of it was underwater until fairly recently. So that 47 acre field, eh, about 5 to 10 might live. It's going to be a while before we can replant it too. You can still see water standing. And most of the floodwaters have went down. 
but this cornfield and this cornfield got hit pretty hard. The bean field that we're going to didn't really get a lot of uh, flood damage on it. I don't know if we'll have to replant any of it at all. That ditch is still flowing, trying to drain all this water out from upstream and all of ours. Looks like the neighbors lost a little bit of beans. Not too bad. You can see where their field kind of goes up pretty good. Think we'll make it? I hope we don't float away. Eh, we should be okay. Good news is the lower end of this 100 acre field, a lot of this corn will survive. There's a couple low spots in the middle that we will fill in with the big planter, probably plant them sideways. It definitely ruined our strip till comparison plot, unfortunately. We do have another one on some higher ground, but this one was going to be a more uniform test. This ground's pretty uniform, it's pretty much all gravel right through here. Uh, oh well, that just kind of sucks, but nothing we can do about it now. On to the field. Before we get started in this field, we got to take a leak, but I thought we'd walk out here and check these beans that are trying to come up. They are emerging. These ones never went underwater right here. This area is high enough that it never got on top of this. But I'm going to drive on these headlands. I asked Dad if he, make his, if he wanted me to make new ones. He said, don't worry about it. So that's what we're going to do. Come on, beaners. Go, go, go. Right, we got a little four acre piece on the other side of the levee. That's the levees. There's the field we were in. This all was underwater, so we're gonna plant what we can. Over there it's too wet. This upper side is fine, so plant it. Not sure what kind of stand we're gonna get out of this. A lot of corn stalks piled up, but this little field, if it doesn't get planted now, will not get planted because there's no way to get to it other than through the field we're planting. That don't go there. Goes over there. All right, back to the big field. That was actually way drier than I was expecting. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden, like rows 13 and 14 quit planting, so that uh, could be something electrical. When they both quit planting all at the same time, it's either electrical or seed related. There's no seed in their hoppers, so they must be plugged somewhere. So I guess we dump the seed doors over here and see what we can find. must have cleared it full speed ahead all right we're heading to the next field uh, we're not going to replant any of these beans on this side where the river got into them just yet we want to wait a couple more days just because some of the ones with disease are still dying and some of the wet spots aren't dried up enough we want to be able to come in and plant them all at one time so we got a little bit left of non replant to go to first I see the meal wagon ahead. They couldn't quite go swimming through that water hole, so I told them just to wait up there. I didn't feel like buying a new Suburban today. Daddy! Daddy! Hey guys. Wait, we were swimming over there, and that's hard. We just won't be that. Oh. This is the field that's tiled. I just don't think the tile is helping much right there. There's the Brown Family shooting range. I don't think we can plant that. Now, Dad cleaned this ditch out pretty aggressively, and uh, this is what's left. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but for right now, we're just going around it. Oh, he's going mud running! No, he didn't send it real hard. I think he's inspecting this tile hole. All right, my brother's uh, bringing me seed. Not completely empty, but he's getting ready to leave. Dad's not here. 
and I'm not going to be around a seat tender, so you got to fill up when you can sometimes. I think he's unbearing my beans. This would be a good venting moment, but we're casing. It ain't flexing bad. You can see the tile lines in here, but this field is much drier. So I guess these tile lines are working. Um, I've seen water just laying across all this, just ponding. So must be doing something. Still have a couple places, like right there, right there, but I think that's where the tile plow hit old tile lines. So that'll take some attention. All right, little update. We are done in this area. I've got to fold up. I've got to actually stop back at the house again and fill up with seed. Um, we don't need seed, but to finish the farm I'm going to, I've got to have a full tank and I'm going to be like two or three acres shy if I don't. So, i got to do that. We have pop-up showers all around us, but we had a, an extremely high chance of rain today that it seems to be, you know, kind of just falling apart. So, hopefully we can keep on keeping on because uh, we could probably finish everything but the replant tomorrow. Anybody else have some rickety bridges they have to go across? Hopefully we don't end up in that little stream. There's the golf cart mafia. Picked up a rider. Oh no. Dax, I don't think you're gonna get a very big tractor ride, bub. Why? It's about to, it's raining right there. Right in front of us. But we can't we can't plan if it's raining. We we'll have to wait till it quits raining. Well, it's not raining much yet. I mean, it's just a very light drizzle, so we're not going to call this a day just yet. But there's a bunch of rain behind it. We'll see. Poor little man didn't get to take his ride, so he's going to go explore the other tractors. Hey guys, that was in fact the end of this video. It did rain shortly after that. We only ended up getting three tents. So stay tuned. We got some more planning footage coming, and the planning videos are winding down. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let me say cheese.